Now, you remember right, um, I went in there and chopped a considerable amount. You can see where I faced it. Remember when I was facing, I brought it all the way down where the, uh, the, the cutter leveled it with the brass. Okay? Now, I'm not going to degradate the strength of the structure of the guy. However, we're going to get some shape out of this damn thing. That's, that's not nice right there. So, let me see if I can set up a little bit better of an angle while I go in there. The tool of use is going to be a way small egg. When I say way small, I'm not going to say 3 8 but not a whole lot bigger than that. Maybe a 7 16 or maybe even a touch below. It's a trimmed egg. So let's go in there and see if we can't modify that turkey bird a little bit. Get it a little bit more aerodynamic. Things I want to point out. Look at the line. Look how I did not, when I was grinding the pole, I did not take meat out in this area. You're playing with fire right there. That's the reason I stayed off center to it. That's where the put, that's where the uh, bolt hole tube's going to go. And the other thing that won't happen is I will not go but about right here shaping this. I'm leaving the bowl alone because the bowl is already deeper just a little bit than the valve seat. We got to correct that. Okay, and putting the 205 in there, you, you know, you wouldn't believe the kick in the ass as far as CFM it makes because of that flaw. All right, let's start at the side here. Then let's come over here on this side. I wish I could get you in a light there. Let me see if I can get you where you can see it, but it's pretty much about the same thing. I'm going to be porting behind the camera now, so... I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm putting it on the guide. Swap back. Then I'm going to give a downward push just a little bit. Just a little bit of downward push. So that that area that we cut on the roof kind of rolls into it. Excellent. want to come on the top and try to pull that down some. to do the sides and then I'm going to come back with my bigger burr because there's a lot more meat on the top. All I'm going to do with this one is form a shape.
right, let's go ahead and hit the top with the bigger bird. Okay, now we're going to come in here with the big one, a big hog master. And I'm going to I'm going to come at the bottom and pull it down, dig me a little bit of a trench, not much. Then I'm going to try to find the angle of the guide and just pull it on down. Like I said, I don't want to hurt the, the structure, the integrity of it, but at the same time, it's got to form a bullet nose. for okay now we can do a little comparison here remember like I said I dug downward now let's roll over here boom all right now you tell me what a difference that that is mainly what you're doing here is you're freeing up air that's being blocked by this big thickness here and this big thickness right here well we dug into that and pulled it so it's going to make a considerable amount more air at your mid and high lift air flows so just getting that shape more aerodynamic and then continuing on by digging downward right here and pulling into where I've raised the roof it kind of it kind of matches everything up if you will so now um, like I said, I always, when I stopped right in the middle of it and I went to the sides, let me show you another one. See, I got this one right here completely done. Okay, and, but uh, I got to take the big burr and hit the top. Notice that from the left to the right, there's a difference. The, this port over here seems to have more room on the side than what this one does. It's just the way they shifted the head, but when I go in there porting on it, I always try to balance it out and get them as equal as I can. But see, there's just the top to get right here. So anyway, the main thing, objective was to trim that shape and get that where we had some decent bowl area. I'm gonna go ahead and complete that part and um, before we go any further, I've been thinking, I believe I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the exhaust and pull them into the bowls to where I'm going to stop before I do the valve job on it because I'm always having to get in there. You'll find this with the burr at certain angles and the shaft, even though it's not a burr, will bump up against that seat. So I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's roll it over and let's do the guides on the exhaust. They have to be done the same way. That way we can kind of cover two in one. All right. 